Hello peeps, this video is to present the ultimate guide to play Mario Strikers Charged Online. There you have everything, yes you heard it right, I wrote everything I know for you to set up your Wii, Wii U or even Dolphin emulator on PC with tips that gets you the absolute best gaming experience on Mario Strikers Charged. With that summary on the left, you can find all the informations you need to know. So. If you're eager to get started, you actually don't have to listen to the video, just open the ultimate guide I've put on the description below and get started right now. Alright let's get right into it and look at the fastest way to play Mario Strikers Charged Online on Wii with an actual disc, no SD cards needed. Please note that for Mario Strikers Charged, this method only works on Wii not on Wii U. You have other options for Wii U that I'll present later. So first you want to set up an online connection by going to your Wii settings and go to your internet options. Under internet settings create a connection and select wireless if you're on Wi-Fi or wired if you have an actual LAN adapter for your Wii. I always advise to refuse any updates when asked. So now that you're done with creating your connection, you have to go to DNS and enter the custom DNS that will allow you to connect to YMP servers instead of discontinued Nintendo servers. Select save and the connection test prompt should be successful, although it fails sometimes for some reason. So make sure your connection settings are correct first before returning to the Wii menu. Now you can go back to your Wii settings and aid to the user agreement inside internet settings. When you select yes you should see the Winfy patcher screen. Just wait few seconds and it will launch the game and you can directly enjoy Mario Strikers charged with online this time. Homebrew method is for you who can't actually use the game disc to connect Mario Strikers Charged to Winfy or for you who can't play with PAL consoles where Mario Strikers Charged competitions are hosted, the game is indeed region locked unfortunately. But the homebrew method allows you to launch games with an USB loader though, and it makes your console region free, so it's now possible to play with PAL users on NTSC consoles. You have a link to the Wii or Wii U guide page to get your console modded in 20 minutes just with a SD card. Once homebrew channel installed. You've unlocked the superpower to launch games on a USB stick or hard drive, even your SD card in fact, and you can now obviously play Mario Strikers Charged Online just like that. In the description I have linked a tutorial that helps you set up USB Loader GX. For you who can't play on console, you still have ways to play Mario Strikers Charged on a computer thanks to Dolphin Emulator. The guide will show you how to set up the different settings that gets you the absolute best experience on PC. I have as well linked videos that explains how to optimize your computer, this way you have the smoothest emulation possible with your setup. Among requirements, you will find all the files that you need, whether it's the version of Dolphin we use or controller presets where you can set up your controls, and yes you can actually connect a real Wii remote to play Mario Strikers Charged on PC. The guide also contains what you need to know to get ready to play Mario Strikers Charged online on a computer whether you want to use YMFI with Dolphin, if you have a NAND backup, or if you simply want to launch Netplay. I've made it short but sufficiently detailed so that way you can troubleshoot any issues at any time. Hold on. I've been thinking about something. What if? We have Dolphin. But with Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons and all that fancy stuff can work with motion sensors as well? Because, you know, as Mario Strikers fans, we've been waiting for a new Mario Strikers for decades now, and with football being so popular nowadays one can seriously wonder where is Mario Strikers 3? Well I've tried to get you the Switch experience we would like to see with Mario Strikers Chard, it's all available on PC with the guide and once again, I give you absolutely everything. Including Joy-Con presets for Dolphin that you just have to put on Dolphin's Wii Remote Control folder to get your Joy-Con working with Mario Strikers Charged. Here we'll take a quick look at what you have to do to connect your Joy-Cons, it's really simple. It's important to run this program with administrator rights. Once Better Joy is open, 
You need to make sure that the values on the config panel are the exact same as the screenshots I've taken on the guide, please double check before you go any further. Now what we would like to do is to connect the Switch Joy-Con by opening the Bluetooth settings or turning on your Bluetooth USB dongle. Hold the sync button on your Joy-Con so it pairs with your computer. There you go. Next step is on Dolphin. Set up alternate input sources to pair your Joy-Con. It uses the same port you have on BetterJoy. Then you can go to Wii Remote 1. You will notice there is a new device called DSU that you have to select, and now you can map your Joy-Con controls. You can also load the Dolphin presets for Joy-Cons that I've made for you of course. You get all the details of the different control schemes on the guide. With Switch Joy-Cons, you just open yourself new possibilities to enjoy a legit Switch experience just by using an app called Steam Link that you can install on a phone or a tablet. That's really easy to set up on Steam. All you have to do is to go on your library and click at a game. Select at a non-Steam game, and there you want to select your Dolphin emulator. Now that you've added Dolphin to your Steam library, you can stream your screen to a phone or a tablet with the Steam Link app. Making this screenshot a reality anytime you want to enjoy some Mario Strikers charged offline, or even online, but with a handheld experience. There you have it folks, with all the details I gave to you with this guide, you should be more than ready to play Mario Strikers charged online with everyone. Please like the video if you found it helpful also check out our Discord link on the description below. See you soon online for some next level games.